Good evening. Welcome to Meta News Business. I am El Blanco. We had another segment of Blanco's Business News. So tonight, um, we're going to just touch on some uh, pointers about business constructions, uh, entity constructions. Uh, um, for those who um, haven't decided on what type of business entity that you may need, uh, the business entity is is gravely dependent upon whatever type strategy strategy that you have. Certain business entities will allow you to do things that others won't, and therefore, when you know how to structure a business properly, you are able to achieve your your ultimate goal and your ultimate ultimate mission. So let's take for instance, if you're out here as a for profit business. And that means if you're for profit, um, you cannot use nonprofit um, structures like that fall under 501 C3. And that that normally stands for charitable organizations. When you look inside the Illinois, I mean, not the Illinois, but the um, IRS code. So they have an IRS manual and you have codes that tell you about the different types of structures and the different type of entities and what those entities are allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. So. Um, for those who are trying to um, do charitable, charitable uh, type businesses, you have to meet the um, the rules that deal with um, those type of entities. And you know, a few of them we know easily, which are basically like for education or religion or some scientific. And there's others, but for the most part, uh, if you know what know what you're trying to do and you're trying to actually seriously. You know, don't be in the red, don't go bankrupt, don't end up doing a business for three years and then quit. It all begins with the business structure because uh, the business structure is going to really set you up in case you're trying to get funded, whether that funding is coming from a bank or coming from an investor. Um, or it may help you get money from the community from grassroots, because when you have a nonprofit and it's exempt, um, you know, people can give and write that off as taxes. So people are more more apt to give and, and apt to uh, assist you in getting your startup money or budgets. So the, the, these different type of entities um, are like um, LLCs, S corporations, even if you operate as a sole proprietor, you can move for profit. Um, but then again, you have corporations called B corporations where you can have charitable, a charitable goal, but that that company can still um, um, pursue profit, but it's still regulated. You still have to look at the rules for that. Uh, it's almost like it has a split. It has a split ability, to, you know, to do so. So um, when you're thinking about these different entities, these entities, when you know exactly what type of entity you're going to have, that's definitely going to set you up in the beginning. So like right now, uh, I'm looking at a different entity, um, like a, a unincorporated association. With an unincorporated association being that it it is unincorporated, um, it doesn't have to be registered. And once you don't, you know, and when you don't register something into another jurisdiction, that means that entity has its own governing um, has its own governing board. That means it has its own rules, regulations, bylaws, and things like that. So when you do that, you don't have to worry about having such regulations that'll stop you from achieving your goals because your goals are defined. And only regulatory things that apply is the fact that it is private if you structure it that way. And it has rules for that type of entity that does its own governance. It makes sure that that type of ent entity uh, uh, doesn't come in and interfere with the public. So then we have that. Second of all, you have other things like, um, 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 yeah, so um, then we have uh, other businesses like, um, charitable organizations that fall on the 501 C3 and all those could fall on the 504 508 because they all fall under the 501 series whether it's a church or corporate soul type entity dealing with the church those entities like I said they have defined they have defined uh, rules they have to go by so you wouldn't be using one of those entities if you didn't really have a plan by which you would be getting a certain amount of funds that definitely would have to be tax exempt you know what I'm saying because sometimes um, if you go out here and you start a 501c3 and you don't go through the process of getting the tax exempt classification from the IRS, which requires you to fill out a, a form 1023, and you have to fill it out correctly because they keep your money if you get denied. So you have, to, you have to really show them that your entity is existing for that particular purpose in which you're asking for the exemption, and it must be clearly, clearly um, expressed in that application process. With that, 
yeah, people will give you money all day. They, at the end of the year, you'll find big, big, big groups trying to put money and write off stuff so they can uh, reduce their taxes, obligations, and maintain, uh, maintain receiving that money back, I guess, you know, in credits. And so you have those entities. And then once again, you still have the for-profit businesses. And if you understand how those businesses, um, if you understand your strategy well, that business itself would actually be able to uh, formulate uh, a structure where even though it's bringing in a lot of income, that income could be diverted to other things that the business could use it for as opposed to being taxed right back out of it. So understanding the entities and knowing how to st uh, structure these entities and knowing about these business entities is the first step um, for the most part if you understand what your goals are and your strategy is going to be when you start a business. So I tell anybody, do a feasibility study. If you don't know what a feasibility study is, just look it up and look up a feasibility study. And once you go through your feasibility study, it'll tell you how feasible it is for the for the market you're pursuing and for the targets, the target market that, that you've identified. And it'll let you know everything from is it money in that in that sector? Is the money going away from that sector? Is legislation supporting that sector? Are there things like that's going on geopolitically that's affecting that sector? That feasibility study will tell you all of that. And then once you get an idea on what you're really gonna do, then the next step is what type of entity is gonna allow me to do these things that I'm strategizing and do it effectively and either hold on to this money. If I'm trying to do it as a nonprofit or uh, preserve this money and protect it in other manners, if I am doing it for profit, and that's it. So pretty much, we talked about entities tonight, uh, how to structure a business entity, and for those who don't understand that terminology, I'm saying companies, different types of companies like sole proprietorship, nonprofit companies, banks, uh, churches, um, car lots, you know. But they all fall under either a, a for profit or non profit, and different types of for profit and non profit. I mentioned a couple of them. So tonight uh, we went over that, and I thank you for tuning in. Once again, you can always go to our YouTube channel, and you can um, see these, you know, see these videos, and go over some of the terms again. And you can leave a message or two. And uh, if you leave some messages, I answer some questions. You know, and I like to, I would, you know, I would love to see people ask questions. And uh, you can find us on Meta News. For Horizon Worlds VR. That's the YouTube channel, Meta News for Horizon Worlds VR. And then, you know, if you want to uh, check in with us and see what's going on on a, you know, keep up with us on a daily basis, you can go to the Instagram channel and that's uh, Meta News uh, with two S's. It's spelled with two S's. Meta News, two S's with an underscore following the last S. So Meta News SS, you know, underscore. Okay. This is, uh, Meta News Business, we are a Horizon World premier news source, and thank you for tuning in again.